When I first came to the Isle of Skye over 20 years ago, I remember joining a long queue of traffic at Kyle of Lochalsh, waiting for a ferry ride that would take only a few minutes before arriving here in Kailakin. The history of Kyle of Lochalsh and Kailakin was changed forever in 1995 when the Sky Bridge was inaugurated. Overnight, Kailakin went from a traffic jam to one of the sleepiest villages in the Western Highlands. These days, drivers will speed through Kyle of Lochalsh and they won't even notice Kailakin as the road completely bypasses this lovely little village. But Kyle of Lochalsh and Kailakin face each other over one of the most beautiful stretches of water in Scotland and they deserve a few minutes of your time. Kyle in Gaelic means straight and the name of the village derives from Hakon's Strait. King Hakon, or Hako, was the king of Norway in the 13th century and in 1263 he anchored his huge fleet here before sailing to do battle against Alexander III of Scotland. However, things did not go well for the Norse king. He was badly wounded at the famous Battle of Largs and he never made it back to his homeland, eventually dying at Kirkwall in Orkney. Why is there a hotel here called Saucy Mary? Well, going back to the 12th century, a Norwegian princess called Mary lived at Castle Moyle and by placing a chain right across the strait she extracted a toll from every single passing ship. Not only was she cunning financially but apparently she developed quite a reputation amongst the passing sailors. Kailakin is also famous for its connection to the renowned author and naturalist Gavin Maxwell. This is otter country and whilst living just down the coast at Sandaig, Maxwell wrote the classic Ring of Bright Water. Later in 1968, he moved to the lighthouse keeper's cottage at Illan Ban, which now lies underneath the Sky Bridge. In season, tours of the island can be arranged through the Bright Water Visitor Centre in the centre of the village, right next to the beautiful otter sculpture. across the bridge. Loch Alsh, the foaming loch, stretches away to the east of the village and Kyle Loch Alsh means Straits of Loch Alsh. But it was the arrival of the railway in 1897 which is now one of the most scenic journeys in Scotland, that really was the catalyst for growth here in Kyle. Travellers flocked here, and it wasn't only the gateway to Skye. It was also the mainland terminus for steamers to Stornoway on the Isle of Lewis. The ferries have now long gone, but Kyle remains a working port to this day, as well as a centre for tourist cruises. And there's plenty more to see besides. that there's a little cafe around here that distills its own gin. So that's got to be worth finding. Yeah, so these are two gins here. Our Sheena Fluke, which is garlic for the gin of Plotton, much more botanical heavy spirit. And then our end of the line, one of our newer ones, a much drier uh, juniper head. 
I think I need to try them all. <laughs> Very, very happy with that. And the coffee's great too. Someone else who feels that Kyle is underappreciated is local artist Stephen Gregory. And I'm now going to meet him at his studio in Broadford on Sky. Stephen, what inspired you to devote your latest series of paintings to Kyle of Lockalsh? We're forever driving through this place, or we're coming here for particular reasons. We go to kind of Lockhouse for the, the dentist, uh, the solicitor that we use, because he never really stopped off and, and, um, and had a look round. And I, I thought, I need to go and do that. And it was also, I realised, once I did that, um, there were just so many aspects and components to this place I began to appreciate the topography. It's almost been enhanced by what's gone on in terms of creating the urban landscape. There's this sort of heroic um, feel to the fact that the railway line had to uh, be blasted through solid rock to get to the waterfront nature and the landscape is still evident you can't really sort of make it go away um i just like the whole mix of residential um industrial waterfront um and this whole sort of melange collage of, of different types of construction After so many years of just rushing over the Sky Bridge, I've really enjoyed spending some quality time in the two Kyles. And if you're heading this way, I recommend you do the same too. And if it's raining, ah, oh, don't worry, just wait five minutes. Now, click subscribe and I'll see you next time.